Howdy guys, Jimmy Sung here. In this video, I'm going to talk about Miniscript. This is something that Peter Woolley um, uh, talked about in the most recent uh, Stanford Blockchain Conference. And uh, it's, a, it's a really cool idea. And I wanted to share what that was and uh, what, what's so significant about it. First of all, uh, if you're not familiar, script is the smart contracting language behind Bitcoin. And it, it, it's, a, it's a limited programming language in the sense that it's not Turing complete. Uh, now, one of the things about script that's a little bit annoying is that it's it's hard to construct certain things, and it's uh, you can you can express the same thing in multiple ways, and so on. Uh, one of the goals of uh, of Bitcoin, uh, especially with respect to the Lightning Network, is to make sure that a lot of things are not that malleable. That is, you can't change things around and make it mean something different, and so on. Um, because uh, it causes some problems, um, namely because the signatures and script and all of that is is a part of the uh, transaction. Whenever you create a transaction ID out of that blob, um, it changes every time you change this change whatever script. So you, you know, less malleability is really really good. Anyway, what Peter Woolley came up with is a uh, kind of Pretty remarkable. So let me uh, let me share uh, the screen with you, so you guys can take a look at the actual transcript of his talk. Um, <clears throat> but uh, you know, you can you can actually watch it over here and you know listen listen to him directly. But basically, he he created something like a policy language, and uh, and what that does is it, it's uh, it it's a language that makes it possible for you to say, okay, two of three of these people or five of seven of these people or uh, one of these people plus two of these people or three of these people or something like that. You can have a policy and that's really kind of interesting. And what's, what's more, when you do something like that, uh, when you, when you uh, describe this policy language, you can compile that to script. Now script is the smart contract language. Um, the policy language is is such that you reduce malleability for script because there's only one way to sort of write this particular policy. But you also make it so that it's easily analyzable. And that's that's a very good thing. Uh, complexity is the enemy of security. This is why, for example, the DAO hack happened and um, you know, nobody really analyzed it. And it wasn't really a hack. It was just like a smart contract lawyer that managed to get um, get the money out. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's really interesting in the sense that you can analyze uh, this policy language pretty concretely. And, uh, and furthermore, um, you know, it compiles. So you can, it's, uh, it, I think Peter Woolley called it mini script because it only uses a subset of the script language. So really it's, um, it's tightening the space of all possible things that you're using out of script. Um, instead of going in the other direction, like so many of these altcoins do, like Ethereum and so on, uh, where they basically make make their smart contract language more more complicated that that just increases the attack surface but with with something like miniscript what you're doing is reducing the attack surface by limiting the amount of possible ways you can uh, construct something and uh, and that's a very good thing um, and uh, and you can you can do things like this and make it, uh, make it analyzable. You can you can have smart contracts that are more interesting. Uh, and the key here is that Peter is really moving uh, the smart contract language towards what people actually want to use it for, and not just sort of like pie in the sky. Uh, we can be the Facebook of blockchain or some ridiculous like that. It's it's very much okay. We want to secure it in this way. How do you make that easy and secure, right? That's the problem he's solving with this. And that's, that's the thing that's really exciting about it. Um, and you know, there, there's, uh, there's one other thing that he, he would really like is something like Operal Backward. And, and uh, you know, uh, a lot of the stuff that's actually used is in the mini script language. You can, you can see what the language looks like here and you can like compile it to hex script. Um, and you know, um, basically, it, it it creates something really 
nice in the sense that you don't have to know script per se, you can just know the policy language. Um, and it compiles to a very small subset, uh, well, not a very small, but a smaller subset of script that makes it really useful. Anyway, um, hope that helps you. It, it's basically a way of making uh, script more manageable and reducing the attack surface and making it more analyzable. Um, and this is probably the direction that smart contracts are going, not in the direction of, oh, we can make you know, some random game that nobody plays or something like that. It, it's it's much more about um, here are the use cases that people want, especially organizations. Um, let's make that possible for them and make it easy. Um, so that that's what this is directed at. Anyway, uh, let me stop sharing. Uh, hope that helps you. That That's, uh, uh, you know, Peter Woolley's talk from uh, Stanford Blockchain Conference. Uh, please take a look. Um, anyway, this song is done.